In our last episode, we talked about exercise and how it can help in maintaining weight. It can also help in reducing lifestyle-related diseases such as diabetes type 2, heart problems, and even obesity. Today, we are going to talk about calories. And these calories are found in food. I'm sure you have seen on labels of food items or packages. But we are not going to talk about those ones that are found in food. We are going to talk about how these calories that are found in food can be burned while doing exercise. If you are new on this channel, kindly subscribe. Leave a comment so that YouTube can notify you when we upload a new video. It is a calorie. Actually, a calorie or calories are a measure of energy. And for you to do any activity of daily living, you need energy. So the more calories you eat or get from food, then it means you need to burn more, often measured as kilocalories, which is equivalent to 1,000. So that is just for information purposes, so that when we are talking about how many calories were burned, then relate that to 1,000. So the impact of exercise differs from one person to another. It doesn't mean that if you both do the same exercises, then you're going to burn an equivalent amount of calories. Let me tell you one thing. Even when you're sleeping, energy is burned. But that means that there are some exercises that you do, you burn more energy than others. And today we are going to talk about the top four you see, there are many exercises that we do, but there are four, actually four, that if done well, you burn more calories. And remember, we are talking about delaying or preventing lifestyle-related diseases, including obesity, diabetes type 2, heart problem, among others. Top on the list is biking and it's a diff there's a difference between a lady and a gentleman in terms of the kilocalories that they burn remember we are talking about 30 minutes of exercise daily so when biking a lady burns 177 kilocalories while a man will burn 213 kilocalories I want to talk about biking in my country, Kenya, especially in the western part of Kenya, moving to the lake region. Bicycles were very common and it was one of the modes of transport. But slowly, the motorbike has taken over. So we have less people who are using bicycles. I remember it was a mode of transport for people even to go to school going shopping, visiting, and even ladies used to bike. But now, no more. You can find very few. Second on the list is brisk walking. A woman would burn 165 kilocalories, while a man will burn 195 kilocalories. And when we talk about brisk walking, this is quite a simple one because it requires no gadget, no equipment. It's just you forming a routine of walking 30 minutes daily. And when we talk about brisk walking, it is with shoulders high, chest out, and you walk one, two, one, two. That is brisk walking where you even get tired and you can even sweat. So we should not undermine or give any excuses on this exercise because once we focus 
we are able to burn calories. I wanted to test how physically fit I was by walking uphill using the stairs. It is quite steep, but the beauty is that there are stairs. So I walked uphill, not fast, but kept my own pace. One stair at a time, but steadily moved on. I enjoyed Mother Nature because I could hear birds singing and they were actually cheering me on. The place had several corners and a lot of nice scenery. There were trees, there are flowers, there are stones that have been arranged very well. And there is even a rail made of stone on the side so that in case you're defeated to walk, you can easily lean on it to take a rest. But I did not rest. I kept climbing the stairs. And I enjoyed because I was not panting too much. And I was not feeling pain anywhere. Just look at those stairs. See how they're lined. This kept me going. I liked the yellow line as well because it showed me keep on, keep on. The first time I actually came here, I was unable to complete this hill walk wow, using I made the it. stairs. But this time I was determined and I moved up slowly, slowly, but keeping my pace until I finally got to the top. I really congratulate myself. And now it's time to go back to where I started from. So I walked down the hill, but this wow, time there I are no stairs. It is just down. a ramp. It also has a lot of nature around it. I can have so many birds singing as I walked slowly down, looking at Mother Nature with the many flowers and they're actually buildings on the side. So my advice would be take any opportunity you get to be able to exercise, especially where you're just eating and sitting. It is best to wake up and see what opportunity there is for you to exercise. The third one is gardening, where a lady would burn 126 kilocalories while a man burns 150 kilocalories. Gardening is one of the simple, simple exercises that we and in the process we are able to get very good organic foods if we choose to. Then the fourth exercise is swimming. <laughs> Swimming, a lady will burn 114 kilocalories while a man will burn 144 kilocalories. Swimming is also an activity or an exercise that has just been ignored because those in the rural areas, if you ask those who know how to swim, most of them learned that in their childhood and they learned that swimming in the rivers at home. But now it has become from the elite. It is those who are going to hotels to swim, to treat themselves. But thanks to the CBC, competency-based curriculum now, because swimming is one of the activities that is included in the curriculum. So those are the four top exercises that one can engage in and burn enough calories. That is not to say that there are others you do not burn. You do, but these are the ones that if you are able to do, you can be able to burn enough calories 
and keep those lifestyle related diseases at bay. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.